just a week after a where's the money investigation denied delinquent taxpayer back small business loans more than half are now paid up, including one that was more than 400 days late after our Nate Morabito's questioning. Mecklenburg County's Economic Development De Director defended the COVID relief program's overall success at last night's county commission meeting. He told county leaders the percentage of delinquent loans is well within expectations, but said the county is now taking action against three late small businesses. In the weeks after we discovered multiple late payments. Recently there was some news and media coverage. Economic Development Director Peter Zeiler shared the news that the number of delinquent Mecklenburg County small business loans has dropped from 11 to 5. And the company whose loan was most overdue is among those that paid up. Zeiler reminded leaders there are more 10-year loans already paid off than loans that are delinquent. I think the Board of County Commissioners can be proud of the action they took, and I think they can be proud of the loan performance. He also revealed while the COVID relief program saved more than 200 small businesses, two have since filed for bankruptcy. The county's now headed to bankruptcy court in those unidentified cases and pursuing collections on another. It's a really sad situation on a lot of levels. When we first shared the delinquency numbers, County Commissioners Mark Jarrell. I think it, it certainly has been successful. Are there tweaks or adjustments that probably need to be made yet? Yeah. And Pat Cotham. You know, should we have done more to help them to manage it? Both told us the county needs to dig deeper into the data to figure out what's working and what isn't. I am concerned about it to the point that um, we need to learn from it. And we learned late today the county audit department is now in talks with Carolina Small Business Development Fund. That's the nonprofit hired to manage this loan program. Nate Moravito, WCNC Charlotte.